All right, Mahisen, thank you for, for connecting back with me. And uh, how, how can I help you? Okay, uh, so now uh, I'm looking into going to training. So I was okay. saying how, how am I to uh, register myself under HRDF? Okay. Uh, so that's, that's my concern. Uh, that's my request. Okay. Um, at the moment, have you received the blockchain certificate from HRDF? Ada tak dapat email yang yang uh, the new certificate tu? No sir. Belum no. lagi eh? No. Okay, uh, nanti saya akan share dia punya email. Uh, maybe you can just drop them an email and ask if uh, the certificate is on its way because um, saya takut dia pergi dekat email masa you register TTT hari tu. Ah, okay, kalau okay. kalau dia pergi email tu maybe dia dia pergi to your previous uh, employer lah. Okay. Uh, kan? When was it? When was this uh, new certificate sir? Was it was it was issued by batches I think starting from uh, was it April maybe April around April macam tu uh, March or April so the by batches and you know trainers are the ramai kan certified trainers I think about almost 30,000 now so they they are issuing by batches some dah dapat ada yang masih belum dapat so at least at least we we resolve that that issue first um, sebab saya saya risau kalau certificate tu pergi ke email address uh, your previous employer okay and uh, on top of that okay when 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 we have this uh, new blockchain certificate um, what happens is we need to basically update our profile in the HRDF Latih portal. Uh, sepatutnya dia akan bagi uh, the, the steps lah on how to register. Uh, first you have you have to log in and then uh, create your your profile dalam tu. So by you being in the HRDF Latih portal, what's going to happen is that you will exist. I would say you will, you will be visible online as uh, one of the certified trainers. Uh, sebab sekarang ni without without that kita pun tak tahu siapa trainer yang aktif dan siapa trainer yang uh, maybe uh, dormant tak 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 aktif buat training. Sebab you know the certificate was since 2000 2003 ke macam tu kan. Jadi tak tahu siapa lagi yang masih aktif and and what not lah. Then, then comes the ability to uh, so-called be registered or work with companies that uh, you can utilize your HRDF certificate. Lah. At, at the moment, have you made any contact with other uh, training providers, HRDF re tra registered training providers after the, the, the employment has stopped? Uh, no, sir. Uh, not uh, approach any HRDF uh, trainers. No, sir. Okay, okay. Um, okay, do you have in hand any specific training topics? Okay, uh, my training topics mostly will be like on the HC uh, part of it, health, safety, and environment. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I so, remember, I remember. I, I remember during TTT, you did that, that uh, small little dance. <laughs> Still doing the same thing, uh, but uh, but during that after that uh, the period of past few years, I've ended few others uh, training also. Very like good, very good. Training. And also uh, now we have this uh, what we call menu handling kind of training. Very good. A few other training. Yeah, okay. So so all the trainings that you've attended, the certificate is under your name, right? Okay, so so that's good. I mean, CJL semua ada dekat ni lah. They, 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 they give back to you lah after they retrench. Yes, sir. Okay, very yes, good. I have. 
Okay. Um, now, I think the best uh, thing that you can do, again, leaving your options open, kalau ada, uh, you know, opportunity for going back into employment, uh, by all means, you know, uh, you, you, you do not have to just rely on uh, doing training per se lah. Sebab at this point of time, the training industry, to be fair with you, is still under a lot of speculation due to the COVID issue lah. So, ramai pun tak tahu bila boleh next continue doing training and uh, what is it going to be after after MCO and what not. But what you can do within this this couple of weeks, it's pun raya kan? So, uh, you can start work on preparing your materials. Um, you are welcome to park your program with us, uh, my, my company, Access Ideas. And also at the same time, you are most welcome to also uh, try and uh, connect with a few other training providers. Sebab the, the, the biggest uh, understanding that we need to have is a trainer nak participate in any HRDF schemes, dia tak boleh participate directly. Dia kena go through training provider, registered training provider. Okay, that's what I... I read into the HRDF community, I saw that, that yes, we, that we cannot do individually, but yeah. through a company. Yeah, betul. Um, unless unless you are internal trainer, memang tak ada masalah lah, tapi bila as a freelance trainer, the best is to um, associate yourself with another uh, a training provider company. And dekat sini, it's open to your strategy. Kalau you nak, you nak place your program with multiple training providers pun sebenarnya okay, there's no issue. Just that you need to be careful uh, to to respect each training provider by, by if possible by not giving the exact same outline to every training provider. Takut-takut nanti these training providers approach the same client and then you punya outline semua sama. So, dia tak, dia not nice lah in that sense. There'll be a kind of conflict kind of thing. Yes. I'm yeah. Okay. Um, again, an another thing I would like to check with you. When you do your current training uh, related to uh, health and safety, um, are you allowed to do the programs uh, as a program? Public program meaning that company, lain-lain company boleh hantar staff to, to attend the training? Yes, sir. this is... Uh, okay. Even though the training was done internally, but I I've done the same training with other with the client also. Okay, okay. So I, I that. it's just like a, it's like more like an awareness kind of training. Right, right, right. All right. Uh, so basically, material semua roughly ada lah. It doesn't yeah. belong to your pre your previous employer, kan? It's 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 yours, okay. right? Yes. I even modify my my own. But, um, my own, yeah, my own, own way of uh, presentation. Very good, very good. That's that's good to know. Um, then I think the the process would be faster. Um, what you will need to do is uh, all the technical aspect. Technical meaning all the documentation lah. Uh, you punya training profile, you punya outline. Kalau you ada gambar, eh, uh, compile some pictures and put together. And then uh, you you can send to me later. I, I will share with you my email address so I can uh, read through and and vet through, give some feedbacks on the on the uh, outline. And then if you are okay, you can uh, park under my company. And at the same time, um, you can also uh, distribute the outline to other training providers. Uh, as as you go into the market, um, what you can do is. You you must be aware of how to strategize your uh, the, the way you position yourself lah. How you strategize the, the positioning. You can try and do. Let's say you focus on safety and health. You can focus on specific areas uh, and and do that first. Ataupun you boleh approach with a, a continuous series. Contohnya. Uh, this this topic, topic A, 
you buat as one program. Nanti kalau dia nak sambung lagi, you ada additional topic and so on so forth. Uh, this what we call modular approach. Modular approach pun boleh, one off pun boleh. Okay. The modular approach is something like a, a intermediate with uh, then advanced that kind of things. Eh? Something similar to that. Something similar to that. Uh, basically, katakan you compile all your topics um, that that you can train. Let's say ada dalam lima topik, five topics. So these five topics, you can approach it as selling it as one topic standalone, or you can do as uh, one topic and then maybe if if uh, the they they like you, they want you back. Uh, this is the next topic that they need to go to. And if they finish all five, maybe we can uh, issue a certificate of completion, meaning that they have completed all the five. Uh, topics in your program. Macam tu pun boleh. Oh. Okay, so that's, okay, I understand sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, uh, if the next step that you need to take is um, put together the, the outline, lepas tu start market lah. Uh, market meaning that you approach certified, uh, sorry, registered training providers. So, kena, kena cari kawan-kawan yang yang ada company and then uh, minta tolong tumpang your program with them lah. In the meantime, uh, we, we, we can do that. Uh, and if this picks up and you rasa macam, eh, uh, this one got potential, you nak set up your own company, uh, then you go with that route. But to, to start off, to minimize some of your costs and, and whatnot, I think uh, the best is to approach, uh, to, to associate yourself with um, other registered training providers for the time being. Okay, understood. Okay. So, uh, okay, understood. Very clear. So, first time get myself registered, the certificate for men, I was saying. Yeah. Um, so yes, try try to check on your your status, the the blockchain certificate status. But at the meantime, uh, you build up your your outline, and then when when you have a good agreement with the training provider, uh, kalau boleh make sure you get black and white tau. Sebab at least letter of appointment ke apa ke you you minta some documents from the training provider uh, to, 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 to give uh, some sense of security lah. And then, then maybe you can offer them, the training providers, to park your program under SBL khas. Uh, this is the HRDF um, apa nama scheme that, that you can participate in, is the SBL khas. SBL khas would help um, get get your program to be better received by the uh, prospect or the clients. Lah. So okay, so hmm. for beginning wise, uh, hmm. can I work with you, sir? I mean, I follow you. Boleh, boleh. No problem. Uh, I, I mean, as as my, my participant from TTT, the the door is always open for you to to collaborate. Um, let's let's iron out the technical aspect of it um, slowly, uh, so that positive lah on your side pun okay, on my side pun okay, and then uh, uh, with with the current situation, kita pun tak sure what's what's going to happen, and um, I I I cannot promise you too much, but what I can help promise you is to to get your program. Uh, ready and and available for the market i think that is more than enough okay. now okay. Uh, that at least give me some assurance i got something to do okay. rather than nothing at all yeah yeah uh, at least work on something you you don't feel too drained eh? emotionally drained so that's so, very true sir Sorry, just, just, I, I have to ask this question. Uh, after the retrenchment, uh, financially, are you okay? For, for now, okay, sir. For okay. a moment, I can manage. Okay, so, all right. Okay. So, uh, while you are still okay, let's try uh, as, as fast as possible to, to get you up and running. Uh, hopefully, after Raya, after the uh, CMCO uh, is, is finished, PKP, PKPB ni habis, 
then uh, we we see how we can get you started. Uh, maybe I can try and connect you with uh, one or two more uh, training providers ataupun some other alumni, TTT alumni. So at least you, you can get something going lah. Uh, do you do forklift training? Uh, no sir. Uh, I've arranged the forklift training but I'm, I have not done the, I can't do the forklift training because okay. I, I was not trained. Oh, okay, okay. And any other safety related uh, certified uh, or certification that, that you, you can or uh, you have that, that you can do? Okay, when I list out, let's say when you pass me the email, I can list out the name, what, what are my training I've done. So okay. at least you can work okay. up here. All right, all right. Very good, very good. So at least from there, we, 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 we see how we can progress. Lah, eh? Yes. All right. All right. So um, I, I will stop the recording for a while and then uh, we, we continue with our conversation. So this portion I will upload so that uh, if anything, you can, you can refer back and maybe I'll also share with, with others. So at least they know that uh, you are available in the market and uh, let's see how we can help each other out. Is that okay with you? I'm fine, sir. I'm okay, sir. All right. So let's see how we can uh, progress from here.